Hi, my name is Jared, and you are watching Life in Plastic. The National Barbie Doll Collectors Convention was held virtually this year in August via Facebook and we were given a number of cool gifts from the convention as well as from Mattel. We were given the official convention dolls which are from Mattel as well as some other dolls from Mattel as well. From Mattel as well, that rhymes. Uh, anyway, stick around if you want to see these dolls, all right? Alrighty, so let's get into it. One of the dolls that was given by Mattel to attendees of the Barbie Inspires 2021 convention is the gold medal reproduction Barbie. Okay, the gold medal repro Barbie. And here she is. She's lovely. I didn't actually buy her, so it was a good thing that Mattel gave this doll to the attendees of the convention as a gift. Thank you, Mattel. Uh, and also, as a luncheon gift, the attendees of the 2021 convention received a red-headed version of Birthday Bow Barbie doll. Uh, if you will perhaps recall, I've already done an unboxing of the blonde version of this doll, uh, which was given to attendees of the conventions in Paris as well as in Japan. Uh, so this is the red-headed birthday bow Barbie doll by Bill Greening, designed by Bill Greening. She is so gorgeous. Uh, I'm not going to unbox her because I already did an unboxing of the blonde version of this doll. So check out that video if you want to see birthday bow out of the box. Uh, definitely check out that video. I'm not going to do an unboxing of the red-headed version of Birthday Bow Barbie doll because I feel that it would be boring and repetitive for me to do the same doll. I mean, she's wearing the complete same outfit as the other versions of the doll. So I'm not going to, you know, go over the same stuff with you again and again. So just check out the unboxing of the blonde version if you're interested in seeing this doll out of the box. Let's get into the main attraction in this video, which are the official 2021 Barbie convention dolls. They are, yes, plural, dolls. They are Barbie and Ken Power Pair, designed by my friend, the lovely Carlisle Nuera, who is also from the Philippines, by the way, just like me. Yes, Filipino power. Uh, so yes, designed by Carlisle Nuera, Power Pair, Barbie and Ken. And guess what? I have both sets. I have the African American and the Caucasian sets of Power Pair. So we are going to unbox both of these sets in this video. So hang in there. It's going to be a long one. Okay, so before we get into what's inside the box, of course we have to go over the box itself, which is this elegant white box with the Barbie logo right in front. Then it says Barbie Signature, Barbie and Ken, Power Pair right here on the bottom. Okay, and on the back is a little description, which I shall read to you. Uh, it says, roll out the pink carpet for everyone's favorite Power Pair, Barbie and Ken. Each has a unique brand of style and influence and is worthy of attaining global icon status. Woo! Dressed in bold power suits, their convention celebration look is pure fire. Yes, it's pure fire. I cannot wait to share this with you guys. Are you ready to see what's inside this box? I am. Three, two, and... Ta-da! Here is Power Pair, Barbie and Ken. Look at that. Beautiful, right? So lovely. So these are, the, the Barbie has the Claudette face sculpt and the Ken has the Tate face sculpt. 
So we've seen both of these face sculpts before. We've seen the Claudette face sculpt before in the Harlem Theater series, as well as in the BMR 1959 line. And of course, uh, the Tate face sculpt made its debut in the BMR 1959 second wave. So he was a redheaded, freckled guy in the BMR 1959 line. And this is a totally different look for him, right? I mean, he's got this tan going on. It is just so cute. And of course, I love these power suits. So bright, so colorful. Uh, I friggin' love them. With those belts, okay, the, the belt accessory with an extra long uh, belt. Lovely. Uh, and they both have white shoes. You can see the shoes taped to the sides of the box. Uh, and, oh my goodness, Ken has earrings. Check that out. He's got some earrings on. How about that? Uh, so I totally love this set of dolls. I love the face sculpts that were chosen. Uh, they are also on the Model Muse bodies. We can see in the box that they're in the Model Muse bodies. They are so beautiful, so lovely. I'm so happy to have these dolls in my collection. Carlisle, you did an amazing job. Congratulations. So many conventioneers, I'm sure, are thrilled to have these dolls. Uh, I know I am. Um, so congratulations. You did a lovely, lovely job with these. Uh, and I'm very excited to get these out of the box so that I can start playing with them. All right. But before we do that, let's take a look at the other power pair. Okay. All right. So here is the second power pair, the African-American versions of the power pair Barbie and Ken set. And uh, are you ready to see what's inside this box? Because you know I am. So let's go ahead and open it. One, two, and... <laughs> Woohoo! Look at that! Oh my goodness! What? So gorgeous. Love the colors. Love this bright yellow and this lovely coral pink suit on Ken. Uh, love the belts, of course, and these dolls also have some unique face sculpts. Uh, Ken has the model number 17 Barbie Basics sculpt, and he's got a lovely hairstyle. He's got some flocking on the top of his head, and then the sides are painted, uh, and it looks great. And I love his thick eyebrows. Oh my goodness. Great face paint on these dolls. Uh, and Barbie has the Marissa model of the moment face sculpt. And she is so beautiful. I believe this is the first time we're seeing Marissa face sculpt as an African-American and it's so lovely. Uh, and she has these braids, the braided hairstyle. Okay, long braids, Senegalese twists, I believe these are. Uh, and they just look amazing. I mean, these power suits are everything. And I'm sure you can switch it up and have Barbie wearing Ken's uh, suit as like a suit dress, an oversized suit dress. I've seen Carlisle play with these dolls and switch up their outfits, and it's just amazing. Uh, so I cannot wait to get these out of the box. So without further ado, let's get both sets of Barbie and Ken out of the box. Let's do it. Okay, so I am gonna start by pulling the cardboard backing sleeve out of the box. Okay, and of course the doll stands are in the back and the certificate of authenticity is taped to the back of the inner cardboard sleeve. Okay, so we're gonna take out that certificate and see what number we got, right? So here is the certificate of authenticity for my power pair. And it says that I got number 457 of 2,500. Okay, so they only made 2,500 sets of these dolls. Of course, that makes them platinum label dolls uh, because platinum label, that designation is given to dolls with quantities, numbered quantities that are less than 5,000 units. 
So 2,500 units definitely makes this a platinum label set. Okay, and here are the doll stands. They are the type of doll stands that have waist clips uh, and they have a white plastic base, okay? Very nice. Uh, and of course, you know, I don't really use the, the stands that come with the dolls. I like to use mad doll stands, uh, but these are nice doll stands. Alrighty, so here is Barbie out of the box. She came with these white sandals and these fierce sunglasses. Check them out. Alrighty. And uh, of course, as we mentioned earlier, she has the Model Muse body with the left leg bent uh, and straight arms. Okay, and she has got a manicure and a pedicure. So yeah, lovely. And of course, she's wearing this electric blue power suit with a white tube top underneath. Uh, and the tube top has got those clear straps to keep them in place. Okay, so you don't have to worry about her exposing herself. Um, she is so beautiful. I love the blonde hair that they've chosen for this doll. Uh, and of course, I love the use of the Claudette face sculpt on a lighter skin tone doll. Uh, it's very interesting to see these different face sculpts uh, in different iterations. You know, they just create a totally different character. Uh, so yeah, very lovely. I love her hair. There's some product in it and it's got a little bit of box hair out of the box, but we can fix that. Um, yeah, we can just kind of fluff it out and it'll be nice and curly and bouncy. Uh, maybe I'll even wash the product out, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, she is so beautiful. And here is Ken in his purple power suit with the turquoise belt and the white loafers. They're so cute. Uh, and also he came with sunglasses. And by the way, I just noticed that this Ken has side glancing eyes. I don't know that we've seen a lot of Ken dolls with side glancing eyes. In fact, this may be the first example. I don't know. Uh, let me guys know in the comments if you know of other Ken dolls that have side glancing eyes, okay? But this is really beautiful. I love this doll. Um, some of my friends mentioned that he gives off like a George Michael vibe. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm getting that, but I think he's really cute. Yeah, he's really, really cute. So love the outfit, love the doll. Underneath the power suit is a faux leather sleeveless top for Ken. Okay, this is faux leather and it's really nice. It's got a Velcro closure in the back. Uh, which is, you know, whatever. I, You know how I feel about Velcro, but sometimes it's necessary. All right, so let's get this second set out of the box so we can see what they look like out of the box. And this is the certificate of authenticity for the second set. So it says that I got number 257 of 2,500. So again, that makes these platinum label dolls and I got a nice low production number. So I am pleased. All right, here is Barbie out of the box. She is so lovely with her sunglasses and her high-heeled sandals on. Uh, and of course, this yellow power suit with the orange extra long belt. Uh, she is so beautiful. Look at that face. Okay, the Marissa face sculpt. Lovely with this dark skin tone. Ugh, I am in heaven, you guys. And I love her braids. I love the, these long braids. Ooh, oh my goodness. Love her manicure. She's got like this white manicure and pedicure. Uh, and love her coral lips. Okay, lovely. Just a beautiful, beautiful doll. I have just, one thing to say about this, uh, this screening looks a little bit lopsided on her lips. Just a teeny bit lopsided, but you know, it's not so obvious, so I'm not gonna complain not going to make a ruckus. So she's wearing these like large hoop earrings as well. Okay. Uh, which are really pretty. I mean, so is the other doll. They're wearing the complete same outfit and ha they have the exact same accessories. Uh, but I'm just noticing these hoop earrings right now. 
Okay, we've seen these before a number of times. These are just a clear version of those earrings. All right, let's move on to 10. And then we're gonna look at all of them together. Uh, and then I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on these dolls. All right, so here is Ken with his sunglasses and his white loafers and the pink power suit with the turquoise extra long belt and the white pleather undershirt. Uh, it is so cool. And by the way, I friggin' love his hairstyle, okay? It is flocked on top, all right? And then it's just painted on the sides and on the back. And it is a really cute hairstyle for Ken. And look at his earrings. They're these clear plastic earrings. Lovely. All right, very cool Ken doll. And he looks great next to Barbie. Look at this pair, a power pair of Barbie and Ken wearing power suits. Love, love, love. So if you're wondering what these outfits and these dolls have to do with the theme of this year's convention, which was hashtag Barbie inspires, uh, well, the answer to that is that these dolls were designed originally for the Palm Springs convention, which was themed Barbie x Ken. Uh, in celebration of Ken's 60th birthday, which of course we know happened this year. So Barbie x Ken was really supposed to be the theme and the convention was supposed to take in Palm Springs, California, which is why they're wearing these like hot, colorful, bright outfits. Okay, so it has nothing to do with Barbie inspires really. Uh, but hey, maybe, you know, we can just say it's inspiring us to dress better, right? Um, yeah, because these are really, really cool outfits. So again, Carlisle did an amazing job designing these dolls. I am so pleased. I'm so happy. Okay, so here are the four convention dolls that I received for this year's Barbie convention. I am so pleased and so excited to have these four dolls. So what do I think of the Barbie and Ken Power Pair gift sets? Uh, I think these are so lovely. Okay, the design is beautiful. The execution may be left a little bit to be desired because I've seen some of these dolls with like wonky screenings on the face, but luckily mine are perfect or almost perfect in the case of Marissa. These are wonderful dolls. The outfits are really cute. Uh, I love the choice of face sculpts for these dolls. These are definitely very unique in my collection. I don't have a lot of iterations of these faces, so I feel very fortunate to have these dolls. You know, Claudette and Marissa and Kate and the um, model number 17. <laughs> I can't even remember his name. Uh, these are wonderful, wonderful dolls, and I will treasure them forever. Thank you so much, Carlisle, for designing these. It was such a pleasure to unbox them, uh, and I cannot wait to start to play with these dolls, to photograph them, to change their outfits. Uh, they are gonna look so fantastic in my collection. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Carlisle, and thank you, Mattel, for giving us these dolls. These are wonderful. I am so pleased. So what about you guys? What do you think of Power Pair Barbie and Ken? Are these dolls that you would want to add to your collection? Let me know in the comments. It is time for question of the week. And this week's question is from no one in particular. I've just been getting a lot of questions uh, through private messages from various collector friends about when the Barbie convention for 2022 is gonna be and where and how do people register for it? So the answer to that question is uh, registration for the 2022 Barbie convention, which is themed a decade of destiny. Okay, it's a 1920s themed convention. Very exciting. Uh, so registration is currently open for the 2021 convention years. Uh, and then registration will open up to the general public on September the 25th uh, at 11 a.m. Central Time, I believe. 
So registration will open uh, very soon for the general public and I'm sure this convention is going to sell out. So if you're interested, definitely go to bconventions.com okay, and find out you know, when exactly when you are gonna be able to register with the general public for the convention. All right, bconventions.com is the site. And uh, good luck to everybody who wants to go to the Barbie convention next year, because I'm definitely going, so hopefully I'll meet you guys there, okay? I forgot to mention that the convention is going to be held in Chicago in 2022. All right, so it's a lovely city with a lot of things to see and do. So if you plan on going to Chicago with your family, you can be at convention in July of 2022 and the rest of your family can just go sightseeing on their own because there's plenty to do. All right? I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, there is now a join button next to the subscribe button. And if you click on that button, a video will play of me explaining all of the benefits all of the perks of becoming a member of Life in Plastic. So definitely click that join button and watch that video and hopefully you'll decide to join the Life in Plastic family. And on that note, I do want to thank my one and only elite member so far, Miss Pam Militello. Thank you so much, Pam. I really appreciate your support. It feels good knowing that somebody out there believes in life in plastic and believes in me so much that they're actually willing to contribute money towards the cause. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video.